I'm getting so tired of coming back to this same house. I know. It's so sad, though, because she never tells us what's really going on. I don't get it. I don't understand why she just doesn't leave. I still need to go to the store. Why haven't you already done that? I, I need to get some more money. Really? And just what did you do with the money I gave you last week? I bought food and I got your dry clothes. I gave you more than enough money last week. Look, if you don't know how to budget your money and you're just gonna squander it on useless stuff. No, I, I didn't squander it. I looked for all the sales. I didn't spend anything on myself. I just, I have to get some hamburger and milk and- You are a stupid cow. I work like a dog to give you money and you just piss it away. Look, it's for the kids. I need to put food in their lunch boxes. The money that you gave me last week, it didn't last. I gave you more than enough money to get the things we need. I'm not giving you another cent. And without a beer, I'm gonna want one with dinner. Ow, I don't have any money. reasons why a victim of domestic violence feels unable to leave a relationship. She may have no access to money. Her batterer may have interfered with her ability to get or maintain a job outside of the home. She's been told repeatedly that she cannot provide for herself or her children without him. She feels completely trapped. No, I know, Mom. I haven't called in a while, but it's just because we're busy with the kids, you know, soccer and gymnastics. Dad's birthday party? No, actually, I don't think we're gonna be able to make it this time. Um, I'm sorry. I know. How is Dad feeling? We tell him I'm sorry. By the time the police are called to the scene, the victim is already isolated. She doesn't have friends to go to, family members. With one look, she knows it's not safe to even go to her dad's birthday party. Isolation is intentional. I'm getting two dips of chocolate. <laughs> Where are you guys going? I'm gonna take them for ice cream. Oh, I'm about to start dinner. I don't think they should have ice cream right now. Hey guys, why don't you go get in the car? Yeah, ice cream, yes! Who do you think you are telling me what I can and can't do with my children? I just meant I don't think they should have ice cream right now, that's all. If you don't like the decisions I'm making about the kids, I can always take them from you and you won't have to worry about it anymore. No, you know what, no, it's fine. I'll just make dinner later, you know, it's fine. It's not a problem. Come on, guys. Get out of the car. Mommy's not going to let us have ice cream. Oh, man. I don't want it. Daddy's sorry. You suck. Hey, don't talk to Mommy like that. It's actually appalling how a batterer will use the children to try to control a victim either by manipulating them to support his behaviors, uh, to groom them to become batterers, or to believe that battering is part of any family relationship. More commonly, a batterer will make threats to the victim to take the children away, injure them, or even kill them. So what do we have here? We have a victim who has no financial support, no family support or other support, has low self-esteem, and who truly believes that harm will come to her children if she tries to leave. I saw you talking to that guy in the parking lot! I'm telling you the truth! It was our son's soccer coach, that's all. I just said hi to him, that's it. 
I was watching from my car. It was more than just high. Oh, we were talking about how well Terry is doing in soccer this Really? Turn. Because I saw you talking about more than just Terry. God, I can't take this anymore. Don't you walk away from me. <laughs> Don't you understand that if you ever try to leave me, I will kill you. I will hunt you down and I will kill you. Damn it. The neighbors must have called the cops again. You better handle this or I will really give you something to be upset about. In this situation, the victim feels like she has no way out. You are her resource to help her. I understand it's frustrating for you to have to go out to the same house all the time or deal with the same victim, but you need to reinforce the idea that she's doing nothing wrong, that you're there as a resource to help her. And every time you go out there, you make a positive change. And one day this victim will understand that there is a way out of the situation and you're there to help. Please, don't give up on her. Hi, Mrs. Collins. Are you okay? 